Hello students, uh, today we are assignment 5.4. In assignment 5.4, we have mainly four questions. First one, derive an expression for net magnetic induction inside a material placed in magnetic field of solenoid. Second one, write expression for magnetic intensity H in terms of magnetic induction B and intensity of magnetization M. Third one, define magnetic susceptibility pi m, write its expression, mention the relation between magnetic susceptibility and relative permeability mu r. And uh, lastly, write expression for magnetic intensity h and magnetic susceptibility chi m, using them show b is equal to mu h. Uh, though this uh, four questions we have in the assignment, uh, actually it is one topic, so we'll treat this as one topic and uh, we'll have answer of all the questions. Uh, whenever we we need to study magnetic property of any material, material is subjected to external magnetic field, and uh, most of the time we place the material in magnetic field of solenoid. So when we have solenoid, we know that magnetic field of solenoid uh, is given as mu zero n i. Uh, what is mu zero permeability of vacuum? So suppose this is the solenoid, and I want to define uh, magnetic field of this solenoid. So I can give it as mu zero n i. Okay. Now, uh, if I want to study magnetic property of some material, I can place it inside this solenoid. And uh, what happens because of this? Now, whenever you place any material inside, we know that all the uh, materials are made up of atom, and inside the atom we have electrons moving. So, if electron is moving in any orbit, and if you subject it to external magnetic field, uh, what will happen? As such, the electron is like current carrying loop, isn't it? And so, it is having its own magnetic uh, dipole moment. Uh, which earlier we saw that uh, dipole moment of magnet uh, can be given as current into area. Which current we are talking about? Which current this is? Current constituted by electron. So each orbit, each orbit in in atom is having its own dipole moment. Or in other words, you may say that each orbit, each electron is producing small, tiny magnet. And in one atom, you have so many electrons, so so many such tiny dipole moments here. And uh, what happens when you subject it to external electric, sorry, magnetic field? Each of these electron is experiencing this force, magnetic force, and so the dipole moment gets modified. And uh, then it is very much possible that uh, all the tiny dipole moments get oriented in particular direction. So earlier, uh, if the dipole moments, if this tiny uh, electronic loops are randomly oriented, it is very much possible that the net magnetic dipole moment of the material is zero. But once you apply external magnetic field, you are orienting these dipole moments into particular direction. And then it is very much possible that this material will have its own magnetic field. So, so we, can, we may assume that there is some current loop induced. Now, what is this uh, red circle indicating? This is circle of current which we are considering formed due to orientation of this tiny current loop. So, in this big circle is equivalent current, equivalent of this tiny electronic loops. And as the electrons are bound electrons, this current is called bound current. Remember that bound current is considered on surface of sample. It is our concept, it is imagination. And hence, the magnetic field due to this bound current can be given as mu zero n i b. Now, that means that earlier, what we considered was current due to charges passing through this winding of solenoid. Those were free electrons and hence, we label the previous current as free current due to free charges IF and field is BF. New field is BB. I would like to explain this thing once again. 
be careful we are talking about two different things here so consider solenoid once again and uh, now i have some number of turns which are carrying current which current i am talking about current or electrons passing through winding of this solenoid and uh, how do i give magnetic field of this solenoid this magnetic field can be given as b is equal to mu 0 n i but as i am talking about current due to free charges passing through the winding of solenoid i'll indicate it as i f and field as b f and uh, instead of n i f we can write mu 0 small i f so uh, what is this what is this small if? Small if is replacement of n i f, and hence this small if is having unit of ampere per meter. Why ampere per meter? Because this is number of turns, number of turns per unit length. Okay, so n is having unit per meter. And along with capital IF, it becomes ampere per meter. So uh, this is the magnetic field which we have due to current passing through the winding. And now uh, we are placing a material, a sample inside it. And so what will happen now? The tiny electronic loops earlier, suppose uh, if in this material I have tiny current loops oriented in the random direction what these arrows are indicating these arrows are indicating that the dipole moments of the electronic loop are randomly oriented and hence what is the uh, net magnetic dipole moment of this sample zero the moment i place it inside the solenoid it is very much possible that all these tiny current loops are now oriented okay and then the material will have its own magnetic dipole moment so instead of dealing with individual current loops, I imagine that there is one equivalent current on the surface of this sample, which is indicated by IB. Why B? It indicates bound current because uh, capital IB is equivalent current of this tiny current loops, which are bound electrons. Okay. So magnetic field of this uh, IB can be given as BB which is mu 0 i b what is i b it is bound current per unit length of the sample uh, be very much careful about i f i f is the current passing through winding of solenoid i b is imaginary current on the surface of sample and now how much is the resultant magnetic field so I can say that resultant magnetic field is BF plus BB that is mu0 IF plus mu0 IB and then B is mu0 IF plus IB you can also write this as B is equal to sorry B by mu0 as IF plus I, B. Uh, let us call it equation 1. Now, as per definition of magnetization, magnetization is defined as total dipole moment per unit volume. Uh, where are the dipoles? Dipoles are inside the material. So, total dipole moment can be given as current into area. Volume is area into length. AA get cancelled out. So, IB by L which is nothing but bound current per unit length and for that we have symbol IB ok so let it be equation 2 uh, we can substitute this M value into first equation and what do we get then B by mu 0 is equal to IF plus M and hence IF is equal to B by mu 0 minus n now there is one problem with this equation what is the problem problem is b is called magnetic induction vector quantity 
रिजल्ट इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड यू में से वॉट इज एम इंटेंसिटी ऑफ मैग्नेटाइजेशन इट इज ऑल्सो वैक्टर क्वान्टिटी वेर एज द लेफ्ट साइड आई एफ इज करंट पर यूनिट लैम सो टू रिमूव द डिस्क्रिपन्सी इट इज लेबल्ड एज एच एच इज कॉल्ड मैग्नेटिक इंटेंसिटी uh we should be very careful when we are using these three terms uh in uh, normal terms you may say that h is magnetic intensity means the field which we are applying m is the effect of our applied field inside the material intensity of magnetization is dipole moment per unit volume means what is the effect of applied field h inside the material uh it is measured in terms of m and what happens because of Uh, alignment of dipoles and applied field is b so you may say that b is like resultant magnetic field okay now what is the unit of b unit of b is tesla unit of uh, intensity of magnetization is ampere per meter unit of magnetic intensity is also ampere per meter and hence if you look at the equation uh, b by mu 0 Is equal to h plus m. You can add ampere per meter into ampere per meter, but to match the dimensions, b is divided with mu zero. Okay, so be careful about that. Now let this be a third equation. And now uh, there is one quantity called magnetic susceptibility, which is defined as magnetization per unit. magnetic intensity so we can say that m is equal to chi m h so if i use 4 in 3 i get b by mu 0 is equal to h plus chi m h or else h 1 plus chi m but 1 plus chi m is relative permeability mu r so if i use equation 6 in equation 5 i get b by mu 0 as h into mu r or else you can say that b is equal to mu 0 mu r h or else you may say b is equal to mu 0 mu by mu 0 h or else you may say b is equal to mu h so whenever you place sorry so whenever you place any material into external magnetic field h what you have is b magnetic induction b which is mu times magnetic permeability times uh, applied field so you can say that magnetic permeability of any material is b by h when you are talking about vacuum uh, this becomes mu becomes mu 0 so for vacuum b is equal to mu 0 h for any other material b is equal to mu h so uh, that is all about today's topic uh, let us have a quick look at the answer first question is derive expression of net magnetic induction b inside material placed in magnetic field so consider this long solenoid having n number of turns per unit length the magnetic field inside solenoid uh, due to the current if formed by free charges passing through the winding of solenoid can be given as this we know that b is equal to mu 0 ni why f suffix because we we have two types of current one on the surface of sample one in the solenoid so the one current passing through solenoid is denoted by if and uh, then n i f is replaced with small i f and we have this uh, formula consider a sample material of length l and cross sectional area a which is placed inside the solenoid to study its magnetic property when the material is placed in the solenoid the orbital magnetic moment uh, rearrange and the material develops net magnetic dipole moment 
that is IBA. Now, as I said earlier, what you are talking about here is this phenomena. Earlier also your electrons uh, with their own dipole moment, the moment you subject this material to external magnetic field, this dipole moments get oriented in particular direction. Okay, and then you can say that now the material is having its own magnetic dipole moment. So instead of dealing with tiny loops, I would say that uh, there is only one current loop, which is equivalent of all this tiny current loop, and that current is IB. It is imaginary uh, concept. Be careful about that. IF is real, IB is not real. So the net magnetic moment per unit volume is called magnetization and uh, it is given as IBA upon AL. Okay, and uh, then AA gets cancelled out. We are left with small IB bound current per unit length. So IB is bound current per unit length of on the surface of material. The magnetic field of the material due to IB can be given as this. Hence the net magnetic field inside the material can be given as BF plus BB. Simplify and this is what you get. That was first question. Second question. Write expression for magnetic intensity in terms of magnetic induction and intensity of magnetization. So consider a very long solenoid having n number of turns per unit length. The magnetic field inside the solenoid due to current IF uh, that is free charge, current constituted by free charge in the winding of solenoid can be given as this. Again, the same thing, NIF is replaced with small IF and uh, this is the equation for magnetic field of current passing through the winding. Uh, then you place sample of length A area, uh, length L area A and uh, we want to study magnetic property of that sample. So the dipole moment of the sample can be given as IB into A. Okay, and then uh, just like previous answer, we have M is equal to IB. And this is the magnetic field due to the bound current per unit length. Again, we end up with the same equation. But now, uh, we replace this IB with M. And this is the equation which we get. And as I told earlier, uh, this IF is current, whereas right hand side you have two quantities vector B and M. So, we indicate IF as magnetic intensity denoted by H. And then you have magnetic induction B which is equal to H plus M with mu zero outside. So that is the relation of magnetic induction with magnetic intensity and intensity of magnetization. Then you have small definition, magnetic susceptibility, which is defined as M by H. What is M? How many dipoles are aligned per unit volume? That is magnetization. What is H? Applied magnetic field, that is magnetic induction. And uh, mu r is very similar to our previous definition, relative permittivity, uh, which was epsilon r, which is epsilon by epsilon 0, also known as dielectric constant. Now, here we have one more thing. Mu r is equal to 1 plus chi m. Now, this is the relation between the relative permeability and uh, magnetic susceptibility, which you will have to remember. Lastly, in fourth question, we have write expression for magnetic intensity H and magnetic susceptibility chi m and using them show that B is equal to mu H, relation between magnetic induction and magnetic intensity. So we start with B is equal to mu 0 H plus m, use the definition of susceptibility substitute and this is what you get. Now we know that 1 plus chi m is nothing but relative permeability and using it and on simplification we get b is equal to mu h if you are talking about vacuum this this mu will be replaced with mu zero okay, so that is all about today's topic i hope you could understood thank you